season's been going really well. Um, we've got a really young team, um, so we started off, you know, on a hot streak in the preseason with all of our preseason tournaments, played some pretty tough teams, especially out in California, and did pretty well, all things considering. Uh, started a little slow at the beginning of conference um, with a loss at Hofstra and um, at home against Delaware. Uh, we had some injuries, and with a young team, sometimes responding from injuries can be tough. Um, so it started a little slow, but I think once they all realized what they're capable of, they really picked it up. We've uh, had a good run, you know, started a little scary, like I said, you know, 0-2 in the conference and got a little nervous, but they picked it up and, you know, and haven't really looked back since. You know, we just focus on each point, each game, each match, and the opponent that we're playing, really stress. You know, we call it chess over checkers, but really being students of the game and just worrying about who the opponent we're playing and, and not streaks and, and all of that. So, I think the JMU win obviously was a big one. Um, you know, we went into that match uh, with, with both teams fighting for a chance to be tied for first. Um, <clears throat> we knew they would, that JMU would be hungry from last season where we upset them in the postseason to go on to the finals. Um, so and we were playing at their place with you know a lot of fans, um, and so the team really responded well in that kind of atmosphere. It went to five games, but they really stayed. I think the most exciting part of that match was they stayed you know calm, cool, collected, um, and kind of and played their game. So that really was a good sign going in for the rest of the season. The team has really come together. Um, we're mostly freshmen and sophomores, which is different. Um, you know, a lot of new faces, a lot of freshmen and sophomores seeing a lot of court time. Um, so it's been, you know, in the beginning, it was it's getting used to personnel. You know, one of the freshmen is a setter, and you know, that's kind of the quarterback of your team. So all the hitters getting used to, you know, her style of setting. Um, and it's really come together. You know, we've got a freshman libero who, you know, also is touching the ball an awful lot. Um, so I think the upperclassmen have done a good job with them, kind of incorporating them into our system. Um, you know, each of them, all of them have their own style. So really bringing all those styles together has been a challenge, and I think everyone's done a great job. We have two seniors this year um, and one junior, and those three players are captains for our team. Um, and they've done a great job, each in their own way, whether it's being very vocal on the court, um, you know, being kind of the moms of the team and, and making sure everyone's got their stuff for the tournaments and, and kind of on task and, and all that kind of being a supporting role. You know, it can be a challenge. We've got a lot of underclassmen, freshmen, sophomores that are from California, so getting used to Boston and everything that, that comes with it. They've really been supportive and you need that when you have so many underclassmen. We've got about, I think it's six games left in the season. Um, you know, if we continue to stay on task and play each opponent, you know, one at a time, you know, going into the postseason, um, we should make it into the postseason. Um, you know, and our hope is to, if not hosting, um, to hope maybe get a bye, and then this year seal the deal. Um, go in there and and play like we know we can play. You know, being you know, a little bit ahead of our opponents, serving aggressively, passing aggressively, and you know, we've got all the tools. There's not one person on this team that all of us coaches don't trust that we can put out there in any situation and they'll find a way to make it happen. So if they remember that, the postseason should be very exciting.